Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Let's have Aiden Velvest because then no one knows who's playing through. Guess what? It's also a Chemtech Drake first, so it's not going to be a Chemtech Soul. And even though Quantum Freaks did delay this, it's still going to be nice to pick up this first one. The Chemtech Drake actually feels pretty nice in the game. I mean, Derax is trying oh, to set up for this one. Action! I, I started this action somehow. So powerful. Here comes a couple of TPs. And Quantum Freaks are very out of position. Andil is basically just dead. His first blood goes to the Xin Zhao. And now Cuz is also in a bunch of hurt. As we do have Dudu in behind here. We do have Bulldog as well. Trying to just poke some damage down. But the W will get get Dudu out of dodge. Nice little stun does come in from the root from Bull, and the rest of them will get out. But a nice conversion here from DRX on the double teleport. No longer relaxing is DRX. Fortunately, also freeing us from that conversation. Double TP invested from both teams, but because it's DRX that have the deep Krug ward, they're able to get the win. They do give up a lot for this, though. And hopefully they get a little bit more out of this. Yeah, so Bull walked in range of the Karma, and so did Dudu. So they're both dead, okay? I don't really... ...with the Mantra Q. That's yeah. the end of it, it's bot lane. Yeah, he's dead again. That is Bull by himself. Sponge easily gonna tank that one up. They also get the turret in bottom lane, and DRX... Teddy is also sitting at 137. So actually building up the stacks now, slowly getting some Myers Rascal might be in trouble. Yeah, no turret is going to be an issue. He doesn't quite have his ult. He's about to get it back as ult's over the wall, and now they're going to turn it onto Andil. It's a free kill for them as the ult comes oh! through the part as well. Plena going to save the life of his teammate because it's in quite a bit of uh, danger here at this point as well. They want to give this kill over to Teddy as they won't quite be able to, but it's still another DRX win. And we've got to do anything. I don't need to engage. You need to pull the trigger, which you can do. You have Bard ult, so you can at least force some summoners, and you have Rascal who could ult offensively or also find just back off completely and threaten Baron. And I don't think you can really do Baron, but maybe you can get some summoners out. So we'll see if they can answer those. Oh, ominous. Oh, Rascal's just doing the Raptors. Very innocent down there. No big deal. Just a very scary mountain right below them. There it is! And he flashed! Oh, he is so dead! The timing is so perfect as well as the shields and the heals, they come out! But it just doesn't matter. A lot of AoE damage comes in, but Redemption utilized here from the side of DRX is now Rascal gets pulled over. Can they actually kill the Malphite is the question. Will I be correct? Can do to do it? No, he will not. As Teddy, he's getting in range. He's got 225. He flaps forward. He is so low. But he just does not care as he still has the flash. And he will Q, a couple Qs out of Teddy. As he slowly does burn it down. No saw. Oh, Bulldog. Yeah, I mean, they know this is happening. They're just looking for the engage. He does get into that backline, but where's the follow-up? He almost kills him alone, and he is going to kill Adel. Look at his health bar. This is ridiculous. Nobody can kill the Malphite. And our question doesn't seem to be answered by the Quantum Freaks. They don't have a way to kill the Malphite as he literally 1v5 ults into the back line, and now they're even going to kill the Cassante. Down goes Dudu. DRX take two kills, and that should be a much easier Baron this time. Sometimes complex problems have simple solutions. You see Sen on the enemy team. You see a Seraphine. What do you do? You pick one of the oldest champions in the book. Press R. Press R. Don't die. Koenig broken more than enough because trying to look for a steal, but Teddy valiantly stands guard, the little dragon protecting Baron. Well, an Omicron? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be okay, right? Yeah, a uh, double flash, just like that. And now they don't have their flash for when the Malphite decides to ult. And Derex is calm, especially from ahead. It's, it's unbreakable. They will have to... <laughs> it's unstoppable! They will have to massively overstep. This one's just like, okay, cool story. Might not even... DRX is fighting for their lives. If they lose this series, they're out of playoff contention. And you know what? Right now, game number one, how low do you think Rascal's gonna get? I'm gonna say 80% of his health bar will, will stay up. As he's gonna ult underneath the turret, and yeah, he gets pulled back. They got him below 80% just a bit. And you know what? This is taking Ooh. a very long time, and they killed him! They actually killed Rascal! 
Because now the knockup does not land. Uh -oh. So the kiting does come in from the side of DRX as they decide to finally fight this one. Some very nice poke from the side of Bulldog is hitting that back line. And you see that uh, it's getting pretty dicey, actually, in these fights without the Malphite. On the timing in the previous one, messes it up here, which allows Bull to get an ultimate off. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's a Cassante. Oh, he's just dead. Okay, well, Cuz is out. But now we've got Dudu behind enemy lines. Blooded trying to slow him down. Eddie! Possible intent. He's just going forward. He's taking the game into his own hands. And he takes out three with the executions. Bulldog is TPing out of this fight, actually. And Sponge is not going to catch him. Looks like Dudu, he might be here for a very long time. And, uh... <laughs> The Teddy TP! Yeah, he's like, by the way, that's my kill. Uh, nobody take it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna press my Q. And, yeah. Well, it's a very magical journey. Back to the fountain here for dudes. Yeah. And, uh, by the way, Bull is still not building any magic penetration or any health burn. So... <laughs> Teddy's, Teddy's Qs are, are, uh, are a problem. Yeah. Oh, uh, they... they uh, <laughs> They're getting even more powerful. He's above 400 stacks at this point. Ult comes in. They're just trying to get in onto the first target. But Coz is so tanky as well with all the healing and shielding. Will it matter is really the question. This is just like a massive death ball for both sides. And you know what? They can't kill Cuz. And look at this. Teddy is going to get caught on the right side. The shutdown goes to Andil. And Quanda Freaks are right back in the game. And they're yeah. not done with this fight either. It looks like Dudu on the chase. I don't think you really need to. You've killed the jungler. Uh -oh. Just take the Baron. DRX. Not like this. Not like this! DRX and not relaxed. Rascal and Sponge go in, but they don't have Teddy. And you they are went on, on to in three. Just make sure that Teddy can queue. That's the most important part. So, <laughs> that's all you need. Yeah. Um, Let's keep him safe. So these fights, they take quite a while, but now Teddy, he's gonna flap on in. The knockup does go down as now Mom is gonna get pretty angry, hits the entirety of that back line as Sponge is staying alive. But Rascal, he's getting pretty low as the Q lands, but it doesn't matter. The healing and the shielding is just out of control. Cuz gonna go in. He doesn't have his back line with him though. He's gonna get executed. This game is getting pretty nasty at this point as now Dudu it's gonna reconsider going in on this one. Bulldog does TP as Fight. not gonna happen as they do not have Cuz. But uh, now on the chase here is DRX. Gotta be careful. Still, Qs are landing. And yeah, they're gonna just back off of this one, it seems like. Doesn't mean that much as long as Bull can keep pressing W. Gotta be careful not to stand behind these minions too, because the AoE that comes in, there's the ult, it will be totally avoided. Nope, he gets hit by the Tempered Fate, and now Dudu trying to threaten it, and he nearly gets his Senna killed, his ult into the back line, and Adil is just 100 to 0, the execution comes out, and now Quantum Freaks are just on the run, the engage comes in from Sponge as they ult in on the bull, and he gets executed as well. Trying to move in for the Penta is Teddy, he just does insane amounts of damage at this point in time. And they're not quite going to end the game. It looks like they need a wave. Oh, they're going to threaten Baron. And that they will go for it. Both these teams do want to make a fight for the Baron. TP is coming in already from Rascal behind them. Sponge is there. Sponge on the back. Rascal! Line. There it is. The ult catches the back line perfectly. They get the Senna down. And Bull might follow pretty nicely. But Dudu, he's on top of Teddy, who is going to flap over the wall. Just trying desperately to take out the little baby dragon. It's not quite going to work, though. It's because he's ulting in. They're so desperate to kill this little dragon. But I don't think it's going to happen. Cuz gets executed. And there is the TP. And they might just be able to get it done. Pleta trying to stop the back, and that he will support as well. TP comes in, and they might just do it. And with this, Breon not mathematically eliminated, no matter the outcome of the series, and DRX go up 1-0, keeping the dream alive at least for now in this series. <laughs> Yeah, you guys can't kill Cassante. Um, <laughs> down will go the Nexus. It's DRX, they get the job done in about 45 minutes. Cuz on the Lee, gonna have a lot more confidence in him than the Volibear performance, which even outside of atomization, Volibear to me is a champion you need to play in a very specific way. You really need to get those early. Getting pummeled as much when it comes to the CS. Sponge going in. Yeah, Sponge hit that 
and decided to enter into the enemy jungle, which is a bit scary. As now Bulldog flashing forward, he's gonna miss everything, and so Sponge, without his own flash, goes back in and maybe gonna convert this onto Bulldog, who will go down first blood over to Yehu, and Cuz will immediately follow up. It's a double kill for Yehu. Sponge still hangs around. No. And dude is just gonna try to get a ward down. He does have another dash, but he might just die first, and uh... Yeah, no, in fact, he doesn't have his dash, so he's just dead. Very unfortunate, big mistake there as great. And Quantumbreak's gonna move in as a five-man unit. TP is available for a Rascal. They do want to go for this. TP does get utilized. It's now the Mount Q there to slow them up. The massive flank comes in and everybody is just caught in the bomb fire. And now Dudu all alone on the backside. Look at Teddy, he's just in the pit massacring people here. As Bull desperate to get a kill, but it's a double for Teddy instead. And it's a near ace for DRX on the dragon. Dudu is TPing out. That's how bad that fight was. He saw it. He was like, hell no. It's okay. We'll let it happen. And it's going to be huge. I mean, in front of Drake, scaling, even on Karma, Jow, uh, even the... Okay, nice little setup here from Cuz. They should be able to get Yehu down, although the shield is pretty nice, and they will trade it one for one. Ooh, very close on that as well. As well. Sponge. Still on the chase, but just going to clear the ward. Really big moment there, as they do get... Oh boy, here comes Bob as well, and now the your engages are really sticking as Teddy's able to get in there with the flash. Oh. That's another kill, just a straight-up duo kill. And not much that on. <laughs> straight line, well, he's, he's kind of He's kind of there now, though. Beelining so it. And he's going to have a nice angle here, too. I mean, they will have to respect the Cassante. Oh, do they know? Good war drive from Plata. Yeah, that's going to spot Dudu here on the flank. DRX delaying this nicely. Just... A lot of damage, though, going into this Drake as Cuz trying to go for the steal, but a block on the Q, and there it goes, the way of DRX. Now the engage goes in onto that squishy frontliner as it's Bulldog, who's right in the front, immediately gets 100 to zeroed and does 300 damage in the fight. The quadruple shellacking in my LCK? Uh, it's, you know, it happens. It wasn't supposed to happen today. Today was supposed to be... Okay, it's hey, it's fine. It's DRX. They're going to make a mistake. I don't know what it's going to... Uh, they're trying to dive this again. They are going to stop the back. Q does land, but... That's will be Cassante. channeled here from the side of Rascal. And with Pleta and Pleta's uh, redemption... Oh, could get first turn blood. That's big. Very nice here. Kwangdong not giving up. Knowing what happened in game number two. Knowing the opportunities that were given. Not, not another, we are only a single win away from playoffs. Fear's gonna come in as Yehu gets turret aggro. Might not matter though, as Bulldog is in a lot of trouble here. Mantra Q comes in, and now Teddy is going to be isolated, but he's got Pleta nearby. And he he's landing, but it's not sticking. Oh, maybe Dudu. The flank of the Aegis. Ah, oh, he spotted out. Yep. Pleta sniffs it out, and now they want to collapse onto this one. Mama's gonna be called down, and once again, Bulldog and Bull in the front line is just getting burned away as the execute damage is about to come through. There it is. Teddy gonna take down the first one. Bulldog also in a ton of trouble. And the front line from the side of DRX is huge. I mean, as in goes Cuz, but a very nice stasis here from Yehu. Will it matter? It looks like he might go down. Finally does. But unfortunately, I think that's the only kill that Quantum will get as Pleta gonna return to safety. Nice Q3 does come in from the side of the Aatrox, but it's not gonna matter as the damage is way too high for DRX. And now it's... Kwangdong are about to get 2-0 DRX, keep their playoff dreams alive. The way that the mental game is going right now, DRX are so confident, they are running at Kwangdong Freaks, they know they're so far ahead, and Kwangdong have not been able to find a single angle in this game. As now, they're trying to threaten here onto the Drake, maybe Cuz steals it or something, but Dudu's not getting a flank now, and he's already chunked out, he goes Sponge, and Dudu's just running for his life as he will survive. And the front line here of DRX is getting chunked out quite a bit. But at the end of the day, might just come down to Cuz. He is gonna land the Q. He's gonna land that Q and he goes on in and it's not stolen, it goes to Smolder. It uh, looked like that went one down. That one went down to about 25 health as well. Yeah. I'm really feeling for Cuz in this one. He's not been having a very happy game. Um, 
and DRX. Oh, TP flank. Yeo doesn't have TP, they don't know yet. Oh, seems like they have identified this, and Rascal gonna stop the backs, and Cuz is just dead. He's out of the fight. Moff does an insane amount of damage into that back line, and Dudu, he's there. He's, he's trying to press his buttons, but he's just CC'd to death and blown to smithereens by the baby dragon. And that should do it. DRX pushing in. They don't have the Baron buff anymore. They don't seem to care. I thought that the death ball comp was Guangdong. All the healing is coming through from DRX instead. The TP ward not going to lead to anything whatsoever. Sponge? Yeah, he's going on in there. And again, he doesn't even, he doesn't even necessarily have to, but any space you create for this gigantic little baby dragon, uh, it, it will be enough because it's not going to take that Q. Because G In the LCK is smaller with Infernal Soul yet. I don't believe so. And I, I can't wait. Sponge? No, he doesn't care. He's uh -oh. got a Karma right behind him. And uh, nice Encore. It's going to delay the inevitable engage as everybody is just going to be executed eventually. As Blood and Dick did get one of the kills, so it's not going to be a Penta, but it should be a 2-0 here for DRX as everybody is exploding with the Cinders as well. You see Bulldog's face. Nobody is happy on the side of Quantum Freaks. DRX absolutely pummeling them tonight. As you and I, Chronicler, we got two... Omega sweeps, 2-0. Nothing to see here actually today. Very one-sided day, and DRX very well deserved. <laughs> They're having a very nice uh, little celebration there at the end as well. 2-0 as DRX will take the big... These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.